Greetings from Southern Yankee Homestead. If this is your first time, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Well, we're finally getting out onto the sawmill today. We've been down about a week and a half now. If I sound a little stuffy, it's because, well, we've all had that lovely uh, fall cold. But in between everything, I was able to come out here and adjust the track. It took a lot of work and a lot of time. I think I had six hours into adjusting it so that everything was level. Is it perfect? Probably not. One downside to welding this track together was it doesn't flex and twist as much as I'd like. I get it a little too rigid, which isn't a bad thing once you put weight on it. And as far as weight, we have this lovely uh, white oak log here. We're 13 inches at the narrow end and 19 and a half ish at the wide end. We've got embedded metal. So we're going to start with getting that out and we're going to have one board, well, two boards on this that we're not going to keep. We're basically going to slab it. We're going to do five quarters for a project that we're going to do in the house probably in a month, month and a half, hopefully. Well, there's nothing left to do, but see if we can get this metal out of here. For reference, there's actually two chunks of metal. I have this chain and then I have this, well, I guess chain holder. I'm hoping they're just held in with fencing staples, but I brought a bunch of tools out just in case it wasn't. And we're gonna start with the least destructive and my personal favorite, fencing pliers and a hammer. Are we gonna get that lucky? Nope, that's not gonna come out that way. Seems like we got a chain link in there, so. Let's go ahead and shorten this up so we get something to work with a little easier here. All right. Let's see if we have any better luck with this one. It has been in there a while. Ugh. Nope. I'm hoping they didn't wrap this around the tree. But we're going to have to go to the alternate method, unfortunately. Let's see if we can dull up a chainsaw chain. Oh, that don't look good. Don't worry. This isn't a good quality chisel. It's what you get at Home Depot. Yeah, looks like we're on the other side of it. All right, I've been going at this for a while and eh, no such luck so that's what i've pounded out so far that's a good what one two three inches down into the wood and there's another and it's still going and it's going down like this so i don't know i don't know where it's going or where it's coming out but if i'm not mistaken yeah we do have a crack there how far across are we at the bottom of that crack? Uh, we're about 10 and a half inches. I'm gonna turn this log till this crack is horizontal. And then I think we're gonna take a couple cuts and cut down to this crack and see if we can get at least two smaller boards out of this. And for reference, I'm gonna leave the old blade on there because there's a good possibility we're gonna damage the blade. Roll the log. Then I'm going to find out where the pith is and I'm going to jack it up so that the pith is as close to center as possible on the front and back. That way when I take my boards, I'll just work my way down and hopefully get that crack encased in just one board. And when we hit metal, we'll stop. Or we won't. We'll see what happens. I'm all adjusted. I got the pith at about the same spot, both ends. I've got the split about the same spot, horizontal ish. I'm not too worried about it. I want to get, if I can get two boards out of this before I hit metal, I'll be happy. That should be enough to do what we want to do, even if I have to stick them together. 
and they'll be book matched at that point too so you're not going to be able to see the top of it very well Guess I gotta change that old blade. No big deal, I was expecting to hit something. But. You can see that, that is pretty extensive based on the coloring there so that's completely black right there It'd be nice if I could have got that out but I mean that's another what four inches into the wood there and I still have that chunk there so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna take the saw I'm gonna buck this off I'm then going to take that chunk out, probably from about here to here. And I'll go ahead and throw that in the fire and we'll see what we get out of it. The end piece I'll go ahead and burn and we'll go ahead and mill the rest of this up because, well, this is what it looks like all milled.
Got that lovely blue there. This is a shorter board. Got some beautiful coloring there and patterns. Oh, and that's the board with a split in it too. Because I think on the next pass, yeah, the next pass I would have got the rest of it. You can see right here where the split is. Well, you might not be able to see it, but I can. The split is right here. Since I took that top piece off, it started uh, smoothing out a little. So we're going to continue slabbing this. Uh, actually, I'm just going to make some. Oh, I'll be just shy of 10 feet. Shame. Be nice to get some 10 foot boards out of it. We might even try something stupid with a chainsaw and try to cut it right at 10 feet. Actually, let me see something real quick. That yeah, could be cutting it really close. Because, well, there's your 10 foot. If you follow the line, it is just about where that comes out right there. Yeah, why not? Let's challenge ourselves. See if we can cut a straight line with that Greenworks chainsaw down through there. First things first though, ooh, better lighting. I gotta get the uh, wedges out and get that log back down onto the bunk before I cut it. What do you think? Six? Six looks good.
got all that oak cut up. Uh, in case you're wondering, this is what we ended up burning out of the log. I think uh, someone had originally wrapped a chain around that tree when it was much smaller and had a deer stand up there. And well, they never got the chain down. So chain's off it now. But we got to do some more work. So if you see this, see how thick that is? That's, uh, well, what, two and a half inches approximately? Two inches? Take a good two by four. If I come down to this end, we are, I don't know if you can even see that. If you can see that, that's about an inch, inch and a quarter at this end. So what's happening is after about a foot or so, the sawmill is riding up and then leveling out. So I thought initially that my problem was the deck, but either my adjustments are wrong on the sawmill or more than likely some of the other hack jobs that were done on that are affecting it. So I think the mill head needs to go into the garage next. And we need to go ahead and do some work on the mill head. I don't know when I'm going to get to that. I got two other projects I really want to get done before I get to that. And several other projects around here that need to get started here sooner than later. One of them I'm about to start here soon, but it's not going to be filmed for a little bit. So, with that being said, uh, we did get some good lumber out of this. And the first two are okay. So, those are in the garage at present. They're curing. Uh, you'll see them again in, well... Probably about two months, I'll say, which for me will probably, that's saying that I want to get into it in a month and a week, but realistically, in two months, I'll probably be getting back to it. That is high on the priority list, but I need to give the wood time to cure, dry out as it be. But other than that, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I think we'll see you on the next one. Bye.